Hello. So, uh, serious swimmer and, and I was on the uh, national synchronized swimming team in my country. And as those of you who watch synchronized swimming know, you have to be underwater quite a lot. So what I do in times of high stress, I do something that... And this is why our priorities are clear and not changing. Social state, education, health, safetyness. This is very important, but also allowing for economic growth. This is Jersey on Sunday. I can tell you that what you see on the soccer field, the men and the women of Morocco, they can embrace climate change and the fight against climate change and to protect biodiversity in their day-to-day -day life. That's what we do at the ECB. We tilt our corporate purchase ring, not a forum like the IMF does very well, but at least a place where there is a little bit of certainty in this universe of complete uncertainty. So that's very quickly in a nutshell. Thank you. Uh, I would like to start by expressing my gratitude, our gratitude, collective gratitude to the union and people like them and women like them that the world is a better place and that and we continue to make it a better place. And of course, we've had for long since a crisis before. I know that of course, some of the things you mentioned earlier have accumulated. But the point is, the fact is, I think, is in some parts of the world, other parts of the world, very well. But this been, has been uh, uh, a lot worse. This, this is amazing, ladies and gentlemen, when you see an M&A coming back to uh, economic theory. But uh, let me turn to you and uh, react to what Michael just said. Uh, you faced many crises and navigated significant shocks. You were CFO of Prudential at a time where the financial crisis hit the world. C'est par là. J'ai passé plus de 10 ans de ma vie à Rabat, j'ai grandi à Rabat, donc je connais votre pays peut-être mieux que des visiteurs occasionnels, et j'y suis très attaché. Et surtout, j'aime le peuple marocain, qui est un peuple chaleureux, attachant, fidèle aux valeurs africaines, de courage, de dignité, de loyauté. Donc tout ça, ce sont des atouts. On a vu, malgré les, les événements tragiques récents, la force et la résilience du, du Maroc, guidé par Sa Majesté Mohamed VI. Donc je suis euh, positif sur le Maroc, et c'est excellent pour le Maroc et pour l'Afrique que ces rencontres, euh, après 50 ans d'absence, soient revenues sur la terre africaine. And the, the quality of its leadership uh, and His Majesty Mohamed VI. And uh, every African is happy and proud that this uh, meeting can, can, can take place here. And it's also an example of the courage and the resilience of Morocco that, in spite of the tragedy that impacted the country, and I, I really have a foot here and a prayer for all the victims, uh, the country still had the courage to continue and hold this event uh, and do a very good job at holding the event, as everybody can see. And uh, do you think this is, uh, will be like a good warm-up uh, in hosting such a big event for the upcoming World Cup? Uh, I love football. <laughs> now you put a smile on my face. So what I can tell you is that I'll be here in 2030 and I'm sure it will be a great event. Thank you so much. YouTube. وتابعوا الدار على مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي